if you had chondus or um, you were, well, the, the cure for chondus was you would, you would get sweetened urine and uh, um, would drink that. Um, but also, if you were feeling a bit ill <clears throat> and the wise woman would check out the skin uh, between your, your thumb and index finger, and if it was thin and rough, like kind of coarse paper, it meant that your heart was wearing out. And so they would have to cast a heart. And there was a, an elaborate ritual that went along with that. You took an iron pot, you know, from the fire, like a cauldron, you know, for cooking up soups and stews in. Um, and you turned it upside down with the mouth on the ground. And then the person sat on the, the pot. And then you put a sieve over their head. Um, now, it could be a, a sieve for sifting grain from the barn, which is a, it's more like a boran drum. You know, it's covered with sheepskin. It's a wooden hoop with sheepskin, which is not very, you know, with holes bored in it for sifting grain. Mm -hmm. Not a very good thing for bouncing on your head. But if you did, yeah, in more modern times, it would be a, a, a sieve, a metal sieve. It was placed over the head. And then a bowl of cold water was placed on the head. And around the bowl, there would be hung or laid a key, a pair of scissors and a comb, usually a metal comb, of course. And then the person who was conducting this ritual had to melt lead or pewter. Um, usually lead because it's easier to get. So they would melt lead and then they would pour it through the, the um, eye of the scissors or the key, you know, because, you know, the, the hole at the top, mm -hmm. the hole from the scissors for putting your fingers through, you would pour the metal through that into the cold water that was on top of the person's head. And um, they would do that three times and then the lead that was um when it was cold it was poured out and they would search through it to find one that was kind of the shape of a heart and then that was sewn into the um the person the ill person's clothing um usually opposite the heart it would be sewn into a shirt and carried with them for three months. And then at the end of the three months, it was cast into the sea. And that was supposed to cure you.